Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, we're gonna be checking out and playing nine holes with a disc that has been recommended to me a bunch of times. It is the Gateway Diamond Shaman. It's a low profile, kind of shallow, slightly domey premium throwing putter that has been made pretty famous by Foundation Disc Golf's Connor Kennedy, uh, Captain Redbeard himself. So I'm excited to give the disc a throw. Um, on that first throw, it seemed a little more stable than I was expecting. Um, when Connor throws it, it looks pretty understable, but seems like this diamond one can really hold up to a little bit of power and I'm really looking forward to throwing it for the rest of the round. Side profile of the Shaman here, as you can see, slightly domey. This thing is very low profile. So I feel like if you have smaller hands, junior, FPO players, or players that just like that more shallow feel in the hand, um, this is a Luna here, something most people are familiar with. You can see how much more shallow the Shaman is in comparison to something a little more deep dish like the Luna. Hole three, about 250 feet. Let's do a nice little Annie fan grip. So yesterday I filmed a video with the Diamond Element, uh, which you guys are seeming to really enjoy that video so far. It's doing really well on the channel. I'm just realizing now that the element is a 5-5 minus 1-1 one, one, and the shaman is a 3-3 three, three minus 1-1. One, one. So we should be getting relatively similar flight characteristics with a new diamond shaman um, that we did with a new diamond element. It's just that this guy won't go quite as far. And if you're someone that likes the element, I know the element is one of Gateway's more popular molds. I feel like that's a good sign that you could also like a shaman. Um, one thing that's notable it's just a little too shallow for me to comfortably power grip it. It just doesn't feel great on the power grip for me. So I will be doing almost, probably all my throws with this sort of modified fan grip. Um, it feels very comfortable with the fan grip for me, which is how I prefer to throw my putters anyway. Just a not really nice stable, but not over stable throwing putter. It's a very nice workhorse premium throwing putter. And until I saw Connor from Foundation throwing the Shaman in their videos, and then they came out with like a special Connor run. I don't know what plastic those were in. Um, I had actually never heard of the Shaman, um, but after seeing Connor throw it, it seemed like a pretty good disc. Um, it seems like something he could really lean on for all kinds of different lines, whether it be flat, hyzer, or anhyzer. And so far it's going pretty well. I've thrown three shots with it and I've put three shots inside the circle. So far, I'd say the Shaman is flying pretty true to those flight numbers. Pretty much need to give her full power on hole five here. Let's see how it handles a much higher power shot. Oh, on a full power line, that thing was going to fly absolutely dead straight. Now, I've always had mixed feeling about gateway discs in general. Um, but in the last year or so, it seems like their diamond plastic has really stepped up and reminds me of some of the really great old diamond plastic runs. Hole six, we can really stretch out a full power shot here. As long as I give it the height that it needs, the Shaman, surprisingly, is nice and stable enough to handle pretty much all the power I can put on it with a fan grip. Just a nice pushing shot with a reliable fade at the end. That flies very true to the flight numbers. The Shaman for me is probably a little bit too shallow. Uh, maybe it's something I could get used to because I really do like that flight characteristic. It's very re reliable, very point and shoot. On an Anheuser, it'll stay on that line flat. It'll push on that line and have a nice fade at the end. And then obviously if it can push straight and fade, it can obviously hold the hyzer all day long. Um, but as far as my throwing putter goes, right now I've really fallen in love with the Neutron Ion. But putters like the Luna that are a little bit deeper just feel a little bit better in my hand. Um, that's just a preference thing. Just want to be totally transparent as to how I feel about the performance, the feel, and the flight of the disc. And the flight is great, but the feel in hand probably isn't for me. Um, probably not something I would consider putting in my main tournament bag. And although it is a little bit too shallow in my hand, um, you're getting good performance out of it. It's nice and stable. Most of the time, those shallow beadless putters are very flippy. 
and it's definitely not flippy or wildly understable at all. Again, it's just very point and shoot, straight to the point. The flight numbers are absolutely perfect. And with it flying nice and stable, it should be a good disc for hole seven here. We just need to hit the gap nice and flat. Coming down that downhill, we should break to the left right at the end. Like that should be parked for birdie. We caught a little leafage there, but I think we still should be pretty close to the pin. All right, I'm not sure what happened, but the <laughs> the outro clip and the last two holes are completely gone. I'm not sure what happened to those clips. I thought I filmed them. Maybe I didn't. Maybe there's a technical error, um, but definitely go check those out over at Disc Golf Deals USA. And then there's a ton of new stuff on the site. If you want to save the most money, go up here and go to discgolfdealsusa.com slash iceberg TV. Um, the link to that is in the description below. If you're on my site, you save money on all the products on the site. I believe you get 10% off just by using my site. So yeah, make sure you go do that. Click the link in the description below. You can go get any gateway discs, any Invita, any kind of discs except for MVP and Axiom get discounted at the moment. Um, but in the very near future, I guess we're working on discounting these MVP and Axiom products as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited for that so you guys can save money on, you know, all discs and not just some discs. Um, but either way, I would appreciate if you guys go and use my site. Shout out to Disc Golf Deals USA for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be humble, live with gratitude. See you guys in the next video and take care.